Good evening, Twitch. Good evening, Twitch. Good evening, Twitch. And good evening on this uh, October 19th, 2022. Current time is... I'm getting too loud. I gotta cut. Let me adjust the sound here. Get back down in the green a little bit. There we go. Um, current time is... Uh, 6.56 p.m. and we are here for the football picks got the football picks and I got the results from last week tabulating it we had like six people and uh, as far as that goes so how is everybody doing on this Wednesday let me see let me get this going here get the dashboard oh, oh excuse me back up there rich um, What's going on there? Oh, we want the stream manager. Just in case somebody comes in, I'm not expecting anybody, but uh, all the same, we, um, um, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, there we go. Um, I, I'm here for the, the weekly football picks for week seven. Um, week seven already, wow. And um, we had some good football this past weekend. All the New York teams won, so I'm a winner right there. So despite the... But everybody did fairly well, except CBS last week. So we'll be going over that. Um, in this morning's... Was it this? Yeah, this morning's broadcast, I couldn't think of a the, the Paramount show that is, um, that's getting to ready to... Uh, um, start their fifth season and it's uh, the prequel to it was 1883 and I it's Yellowstone I have I've watched some of Yellowstone I'm gonna probably end up re-watching it from start to finish but between the 1883 and Yellowstone there's gonna be another show a prequel to but a show after 1883 that connects to the current uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, probably one of the most popular shows. It's the modern day Dallas. Do you guys remember Dallas? I'm age dating myself because Dallas was uh, with J.R. Hewing. He got shot. That was the biggest thing. <laughs> now, it would even register on their, um, their Richter scale as far as that goes. But we had some, I, I just got done with my picks here and um, I did get the CBS picks. And we'll be using the, uh, was it the CBS picks are from Pete Presco. He's the CBS Sports Senior Writer. So uh, we're going head-to-head -head with CBS. But last week, um, um, as far as that goes, uh, and for this week, I do have the Thursday night games. <laughs> Thursday night games. Um, and my picks for this week, uh, before we go into uh, last week's games, uh, for this upcoming weekend. Now, I'm not going to be available Sunday, Tony. Tony D is a um, uh, brother veteran, a friend here on the internet, a fellow broadcaster. And uh, he does a Sunday morning show. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to probably reach out to uh, Tony. Tony D, there's his... Uh, I like popping his card there. There's that's him on Twitter, and he's here on Twitch. He does a Sunday uh, broadcast, morning broadcast, about a I think it was it about 10:30, 11 o'clock, to where um, him, myself, Ted Hicks, uh, Smoke, Glick, Brian, and this past week, uh, this past weekend, uh, Mr. B. Six, that's seven, right? Yeah, seven. <laughs> Count my fingers. Um, we're going for the picks, and I think uh, uh, Smoke has drilled it into my head here to write the write the number or write the team or the write the uh, picks down. And I did the picks for Thursday night are right there. So um, I did put them on the last sheet and stuff like that. Uh, but I am not going to be available this upcoming Sunday because I will be at work. I have to fill in. I have to do some overtime. I have to cover a, uh, a co-worker's spot um, while they're taking care of some personal business. Um, and um, and it, that's real world stuff. So, um, so I'm going to reach out to uh, those individuals there. Tony, Brian, Glick, Smoke, Mr. B, and Ted. Um, I, I think most of them, I, I have your... Uh, 
your I follow you on Twitter, so I'll be sending you a D, uh, a DM. But uh, I know Tony, you've done it. Ted have done it. But um, uh, Smoke Glick, Mr. B, and Brian, if you could, uh, uh, I will be posting this replay over on YouTube and I will be tweeting it out and I will be um, tagging your I don't think Brian's on Twitter though so somebody needs to get Brian or somebody on the Sunday broadcast will have those picks you can make the picks on that Sunday if you could so um, um, like I said that's the only way I can I think about work I know Tony's working right now he's Tony D is working as he's working as uh, the swing shift for the next couple several weeks and stuff like that so tony if you're watching this on the replay that's how we're going to work have to work it this weekend because i i have to work sunday um it's some good money too i don't i don't work that much overtime of late but when i have to it's important that i i, I fill those spots because it's a it's an important uh it's important to to help out your co-worker so um that out of the way i hope that explains it but I will be um, tagging uh, Tony D, Ted Hicks. I have his. Um, I have um, Smokes. I think I have Glicks. Glicks I can use nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Um, Who else? Mr. B. I think I have Mr. B's also. So I'll be tagging you in when I... Post it up the replay on the YouTube channel and just make your comments on there, please. Okay. So um, if not, I'll just get it on the replay off of Tony's broadcast. If you guys go through the picks that day, you know, as far as uh, Tony, if you could take, just look down the list and there's 14 games. You know, right down. You don't have to do the Thursday night game, so you only have to pick 13 because we have the Thursday night games, tomorrow night's games. So with that, let's move to last week. Last week. Uh, no, that's the week before. I gotta add all these up. It's I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but last week, um, let's see. The big winner, oddly enough, was Brian. Brian, he had ten wins and four losses. And the week prior to that, he had oh, because it's a bye week. No, Brian had ten wins and six losses the week before. So he's he's come a long way since uh, two weeks ago. He had two wins and fourteen losses. So good show, Brian. Brian, uh, um, he won it all outright. And then uh, myself, Smoke, and T uh, Ted came in next with uh, nine wins and five losses. Okay, and then after that, it was. Uh, um yeah ted smoke and myself came in with nine wins five losses then it came in came in next mr b oh no tony came in next with eight wins six losses and then mr b came in with seven and seven and after that it was glick yeah <laughs> sorry glick he had six wins eight losses so that's how cbs finished last they had five wins eight losses okay so there's 14 games uh mr b ted and i think mr b and ted they we didn't get your thursday so i automatically added a win to your your column there as far as that goes and cbs i think no so it's eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. CBS was probably 6 and 8. So 6 and 8, so they were tied with Glick as far as that goes. So that's the numbers for last this past weekend. The most notable game, it was the Jets and the Packers. That was the, um, I, I dubbed that my upset pick, and sure enough, the, the Jets came through 27 to 10. And um, you got to have faith in the Jets. That's all I got to say. You got to have faith in the Jets, and uh, um, as far as that goes, and uh, so um, and some of the other games that were surprising, the Giants they won, and of course the Buffalo Bills won. That was a good game. Eagles romped on the Cowboys, twenty-six to sixteen. 
So the Eagles are for real right now. I think they're the only undefeated team. Yeah, I believe so. And what was another notable game? Um, that's about it for that. Uh, Colts finally won against the Jaguars. So they won a game. And uh, so that was last week. Um, this week, of course, um, I have to say I am picking all of the New York teams to win, even though I think they, they may lose, but um, they're, they're, win they're winners automatically. So for the New York teams playing this week, and you got the Giants and Jaguars. I picked the, picked the Giants, and then the uh, CBS picked the Jaguars. The Jets are in Denver against the Broncos. That's a 4 o'clock. The Giants game is a 1 o'clock game. So they split them up. Um, when's the Bills? The Bills play... What did I pick the Bills? The Bills... Are the Bills on... Uh, let me check here. Are they on the bye? Let's see. Let's see if that has... I think that has it in this article. Let's see. Bye week... Um. Yeah, they got to be on a buy. I don't see them here. Let me see. Let me let me let's see. See seventh. Let's plug it in. Seven week seven. Seven buy buys for NFL. We'll see what it says, see if that brings it up. Um, yeah, okay, for week seven, uh, the buy, the teams that have a buy are going to be the Buffalo Bills, Los Angeles Rams, Minnesota Vikings, and Philadelphia Eagles. So that's why it's a little light. <laughs> the Bills aren't in there and the Eagles aren't in there. So those are the buys, okay? We got that out of the way, okay. And uh, so my picks... For the New York teams, they're going to be the Giants and Jets. Okay, so we're going to be going down here. Um, our our good friend, Mr. Presco, the CBS Sports senior writer. I've never met him. Or whatever. I'm just taking the article because it it gives CBS's his perspective and his picks. But Presco's NFL Week Seven. This is on the uh, this is off of the CBS uh, Sports web page there as far as under the NFL. Presco's NFL Week 7 picks. Cowboys roll as Dak Prescott returns. That's going to be interesting. Tom Brady, Bucks rebound. I don't know about that. And then Broncos cool the Jets. Well, we'll see. Pete Presco reveals his Week 7 picks, including the 5-1 and one Giants losing as underdogs to Jacksonville. I don't... Jacksonville... Well, we'll get to that. Just once, I'd like to win... And all three phase of the game sounds like a coach. Well, that's that's just his article. Okay, let's go down the picks now. Um, for tomorrow night's Thursday night, uh, CBS is picking um, the Saints. I am picking the Saints. I, I did an audible. I changed. I changed from the Cardinals to the Saints. So I'm making that. This before the game. I can make the change. I'm making a change. Um, I, I think the Saints are going to win. On that game because I don't I'm I'm losing my faith in the Cardinals after this past weekend, so I, I did d decide to change that. Um, Tony and Brian are picking the Saints for tomorrow night, and for the Cardinals it's going to be Glick, Smoke, Mr. B, and Ted. So um, and that's in Arizona. Uh, these two are among the biggest disappointments of the se seasons. That's called that's <laughs> referring to the Cardinals and the uh, Saints. The Cardinals can't score, which was expected to be a strong suit of this team. The Saints have uh, defensive issues, which was expected to be their strong point. So what gives? Um, Mr. Prescott thinks that the Saints defense will get the best of it, and even with DeAndre Hopkins back for the Cardinals. So, But I'm picking uh, the Saints and uh, going along with the CBS pick. The next game, um, the Browns and Ravens. Uh, CBS has the Ravens favored, but I'm picking the Browns. 
Um, these two are off to a slow start. You know, the Browns are, obviously are. But the Ravens have lost three games. They led by double digits in the second half. They put up some points. That won't happen. This this one, Lamar Jackson will have a big game. He always they say that every week about Lamar Jackson. He's going to have a big game. He's a great quarter. He's a good quarterback. Don't, I'm not I'm not disputing that. But uh, but he'll have a big game against the Cleveland defense that is bad right now. Yeah, we'll see. This won't be close. He's picking the Ravens 33 points and the Browns 19 points. I don't know about that. So I'm picking the Browns. CBS is picking uh, the Ravens. The Buccaneers are uh, at uh, uh, going against the Panthers. Panthers are the home team. The Panthers are a mess, aren't they? <laughs> right now, and not even sure who the quarterback will be this week, as if it matters. Tampa Bay is coming off a bad loss to the Steelers. Yeah, that was atrocious. Tom Brady having a tizzy fit on the on the sideline there, but hey, he's a good quarterback though. Um, but will uh, which features a slug, the sluggish offense slowing. It will change that here. The Bucks will bounce back from the ro from that road loss, even though they are playing consecutive road games. I don't think so. I'm going to pick the Panthers. I think you know what that's going to be my upset game right there. That's going to I'm I'm dubbing that my upset. I can't pick the Jets every time, so my upset, the Panthers, okay? Um, CBS is picking the Buccaneers. I think the, the um, yeah, the Panthers are going to upset the Buccaneers, okay? So there we go. There we have it. Atlanta and Cincinnati, CBS is picking the Bengals, and I'm picking the Bengals too. I think the Bengals... Uh, um, let's see, this is a big game for these two teams. The Falcons are coming off strong and impressive home victory over the 49ers, which uh, gets them 3-3. Three and three. They are a tough team to defend because of the way they play offense. The Bengals, though, seem to be getting right, get, getting right on offense, which won't be good for the Falcons. The Bengals will explode. I think they will, too. I agree with that. So I'm picking the Bengals. Um, Detroit Lions at the Dallas Cowboys, um, CBS and myself, were po I'm picking the Cowboys. Um, it, primarily the return of uh, Dak Prescott for the Cowboys at quarterback. It couldn't happen uh, against a better team. The Lions, who are coming off a bye, have been bad against the pass. And let's see, um, looking for Prescott to get the downfield passing game going for the Cowboys much more so than Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush had a problem last week while well, the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, um, the next game is going to be the Giants and Jaguars. I'm picking the Giants. CBS is for some, they're picking, and he's got the score, Jaguars 24 and Giants 20. So, um, I'm picking the Giants. CBS is picking the Jaguars. The Jags are favored over the 5-1 team. That seem, It seems weird. Yeah, that's weird. But Jacksonville could easily be 4-2 rather than 2-4. The Giants have won by running the ball and playing a good defense. The Jaguars have pass defense issues, which doesn't play into the Giants' attack. Look for Jacksonville to beat the, the odd makers have it right. I disagree. I think the Giants can pull one out again. Um, next game is going to be the Colts and Titans. They're down there in Tennessee. I'm picking the Colts. CBS is picking the Titans. and uh, that, It might be the Titans, but I want to pick the Colts. The Titans, who are coming off a bye, beat the Colts three weeks ago. Oh, okay, this is their second meeting. The Colts won a tough divisional game against the Jags last week, but now head into a fierce head-off to face a team that powers the football against them um, with uh, Derrick Henry. The Titans will do the, that again um, here to take a big hold on the division. And they, the spread, they got the Titans at 28 points, Colts 20. I'm, I'm picking the Colts to win that. That's That could be an upset right there. Um, the next one is the 
New York Jets and Denver Broncos. That's in Denver. CBS is picking the Broncos. I don't know. <laughs> they're not showing. They're not being. I, I, I. Russell Wilson, good quarterback. He's just not getting it done. I'm not seeing it. Um, the Jets, though, got to have faith in the Jets. I keep on saying that. I think they're going to win it. The Jets are playing uh, a second straight road game after upsetting the Packers. I don't think it was a – that was no upset. That was a defeat. They defeated the uh, Packers. The Packers just couldn't get it going. Jets took advantage, and they won the game. They defeated the Green Bay Packers. Um, they're, well, I did pick that as an upset last week, too. That was my upset game for last week. There has to be um, – Oh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to the... Uh, le Helen, I'm sorry. And Jeeves, I'm sorry. I got too involved in the, the content here. Uh, we, we have some people in the chat, and I extremely apologize because I'm using my Surface 3 here. I got this... Uh, yes, when you do those broadcasts, you always have to get better at reading and acknowledging the people in the comments. Yes, I know... That. I'm, oh God, I feel bad. I'm being, I'm being, I'm not going to say scolded, but Helen is right. I, I'm going right into the content. I didn't even pay attention to the comments. Helen, I am sorry. Um, otherwise, you you'll be as otherwise you'll you be as well. Just doing a Zoom call. Yes, I, I agree, Helen. I am sorry, but this is the football broadcast. The whole intent is to get my football. But you're right. Not just on the group broadcast, it seems. It seems. I'm out. I'm not sitting here being ignored. Rude. Oh, come on, Helen. Okay, if that's how you feel, I'm sorry. I apologize. And Jeeves. Uh, hello, Jeeves. <laughs> what was the timeline on this? How long ago? Oh, it doesn't have the timeline on this. Oh, you know what? That's why I I, I got I didn't put my dock up. That's why. That's why I didn't see the chat. I didn't have my dock up here. The um, the chat from the OBS. There we go. So Helen, uh, she's she's spot on. You got to pay attention to the comments as far as that goes. But I'm trying to present my content, and as far as that goes, okay, seven oh one. So that was like fifteen minutes ago. I'm sorry, Helen. Okay, see if I had the chat up here, I would have seen it. Okay, let's see. Let me read this again. Yes, when you do those broadcasts, you all have to get better at reading and acknowledging the people. That's a given, Helen. I agree with you totally. There's no disagreement there. Otherwise, you be as just you be as well just doing a Zoom call. Yeah, pretty much. Not just on the group broadcast it seems not just on the group broadcast it seems okay if that's how you feel I'm, I'm out okay that's your prerogative I'm not sitting here being ignored I didn't ignore you I just forgot <laughs> and it's not excuse Be forgetting is not an excuse rude no I wasn't being rude I just was forgetful okay I think I've acknowledged you quite a few times in my broadcast Helen okay so I, I disagree with the rude much other part, the rest of it, I totally agree. Um, I'm not a rude person. I'm sorry. Um, and G saying hello. <laughs> He's doing the fist pump. Okay. Okay, so I got that down. Uh, you're watching on the replay, Helen, as far as that goes, no problem. Moving on to the the whole purpose of the broadcast is to, to state my uh, picks here. We were, where were, where were we here? Let's see. Um, New York Jets at the Denver Broncos. I said I was going to pick the Jets. CBS is picking the, um, and besides that, Helen, just to not, uh, make comment, um, why can't I use Twitch as a Zoom? <laughs> it's a tool. Okay, um, as far as that goes, um, not not dishing the people in the chat, but um, I understand where you're coming from. But you know it works both ways too. Okay, 
So, uh, I agree, like I said, I agree with it all, but uh, the last part, rude much. Man, I try not to be a rude person. I try to be genuine and to the point. So, you know, don't like it. You know, there's other broadcasts. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Okay. So, um, I do apologize for ignoring the, uh, the chat, though. Um, New York Jets at Denver Broncos. The Jets. You got to have faith in the Jets. And CBS is picking the Broncos. Let's see. The Jets are playing a second straight road game. And the Broncos are in dire need of a victory. Yes, they do because they've lost a group as far as that goes. Um, that's a bad combination. The defense is playing well for the Broncos. Yeah, their offense stinks, though. They're not getting the ball down and scoring. But you can't score. They can't score. Uh, in this one, I look for the defense to get the best of the Jets. Denver takes it. They got a 21-17, so it's going to still be it's gonna, The Jets are going to win this. I think this is going to be another one for the Jets. And uh, let's see. Houston Texans at Las Vegas Raiders. I know Brian, he loves the Texans. And the Raiders... <sighs> I was almost going to pick uh, Brian if you're watching this on the replay. And that's a thing also, Helen. There's a lot of people who watch this on the replay. Okay, so just say <laughs> for the content that's being presented. But you're right. I could have done this on a Zoom. I could have done it on uh, uh, Rumble. Okay. Rumble's the same thing. Okay. And then it's just post it up. But I decided to, to utilize my Twitch channel. Why not? Because I can use the replays. <laughs> Anyway, Texans and Raiders. I am picking the Raiders. CBS is picking the Raiders. And they've got the Raiders over the Texans 26 to 13. This game, this is a game featuring two teams coming off a bye. The Raiders are a surprising one and four. They should be better than that, but but they've been a lot they've been in a lot of of those games. The Texans beat the Jaguars last time out, but they are too limited on their offense and stay to stay in this one. So it comes down to their uh, their gameplay. Uh, let's see, Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I'm pick. I am picking, and CBS is picking the Chargers. That's going to be at home. Chargers are tough. Chargers are a good team. They, it's going to be a close. That's going to be a close game too because Seahawks they, they can play. They pro, they showed it last week when they beat. Uh, yeah, they beat the Cardinals nineteen to nine. So, and that was a home game. But this is an away game, and they haven't really played that good. And Chargers are at home. Chargers are going to be. Uh, I think they're going to be explosive. The Chargers have won three straight games, but they haven't looked great in doing so. Eh, that's an opinion. The, no, they haven't really, but they they do. They they're playing enough. You could say that about the Giants, but the Giants are winning. Um, the offense just isn't clicking for the Chargers as of yet. But Seattle's defense, which did play well last week against Arizona, isn't that good. They used to be good. This is a game for Justin Herbert to hit some shots down the field. The problem is Seattle can't run it and Chargers can't stop the run. The, Se the Seahawks will hang around. So he's almost indicating that the Seahawks could well he's got he's got a score pick of Chargers 23, Seahawks 21. I'm still picking the Chargers to win. Uh, Kansas City at San Francisco 49ers. Well that's an automatic Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs over the 49ers. Um, this one is this is the, one of the best games of the week. Yeah, I would say that this this is probably a good matchup if the 49ers bring a game to the to the stadium. It's a repeat of a Super Bowl from a few years ago, but it features uh, two teams coming off a loss. The Chiefs' offense against the 49ers' defense will be fun to watch. So it should be a good game. Um, let's see, Mr. Prescott or Mr. Presco thinks uh, that the 49ers will slow them down enough with a lot of injuries on the side of the ball. Look for Patrick Mahomes to get back on track. So they got the 
he's saying the Chiefs will be 30 points, 49ers 23. I just know the Chiefs are going to win. Chiefs are a good team this year. Pittsburgh Steelers and Miami Dolphins, two teams that are just limping along. Um, I'll just say that, uh, let's see, Steelers. I'm picking the Steelers. I think Chris Technician will like that. I'm picking the Steelers this weekend over the Dolphins. It's a, it's a home team. Um, Dolphins are at home in Miami. CBS is picking uh, Mr. Pete Prescott, the CBS sports senior writer, is picking the Dolphins. And... Um, this will be a return. Oh, uh, Tagovelli is coming back for the Dolphins. I guess he's been cleared. Ooh, I didn't know that when I made a pick. I'll have. I'm, I'm sticking with my pick. I didn't know that. I thought he still had a couple more weeks on uh, the um, concussion protocol. So, let's see. The Steelers will likely have uh, Mitch Trubisky. Back starting in place of injured Kenny Pickett. Although there is a chance Pickett can play if he responds to the concussion, concussion protocol. The Steelers played good defense last week, while the Dolphins have not been good on that side of the ball this season. Look for the Steelers to keep this one close, but the Dolphins will win. Eh, well, they could. They, they have come back from behind, so... Uh, um, I'm still sticking with the Steelers. That could be enough. No, well, it's not, they're, they're not really the big team. They're, I'm picking the Steelers. So there we have it with the Steelers. Um, the Monday night game is the Bears and Patriots. Chicago Bears at New England. And um, the Bears are coming off a 10-day rest after playing last Thursday while the Patriots are back home after beating the Browns. New England has made big strides on the defensive side of the ball. That will slow slow up against the bad Bears, and they are bad. They're not that good. Um, the bad Bears offense that is limited in passing game in the passing game on defense or uh, excuse me on offense. Bailey Zappi and Mac Jones, whoever plays, will do enough uh, in the passing game. The Pats w will win big, and he has a score of twenty-seven to seven. I picked the Patriots. I, that, that's home. Patriots are tough at home. They're getting their act together. The Bears, they just, they've been like the, um, the Steelers almost. And um, so there we have it. There's my picks. Okay, so uh, Tony D, I need your picks. Ted Hicks, I need your picks. Smoke, I need your picks. <laughs> Glick, I need your picks. Uh, Brian. And uh, Mr. B, I need your picks, okay? If you could, um, again, this 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 replay or this this broadcast is going to be replayed on my YouTube channel, and I will post it up on my Twitter feed of at Fireman Rich, and I'll try and tag all the all you guys there to. Uh, um, again, if uh, I don't get a response, I know I'll get a response from Tony. Tony watches he watched the replay this morning. As far as that goes, and uh, I do get uh, quite a bit of uh, replays. Well, the replays, I get more replays than actual people watching is, is sometimes, so that's no big deal. So, but um, I'm happy to be here this Wednesday night. It's a special broadcast. I don't usually do the, the night broadcast and stuff like that. I'm, I'm usually getting ready for bed <laughs> to start the next day. Um, but uh, let's see what else. Oh, 7 12, so it's uh, been, what, 5, 10, 15, about 20 minutes since uh, Jeeves, uh, Jeeves uh, 20, and then about 25 minutes since Helen commented. So I don't think they're in here, even though, yep, we're down to one viewer, so they, they've all left. Uh, we had a couple people lingering in there as far as viewers. So, uh, but on the replay, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. It's it's greatly appreciated. Um, I know some of my broadcasts aren't always always totally structured, but um, I am over there on Rumble uh, to give that a plug. Um, I've been checking that out. Um, I would appreciate it if you give me a follow over on Rumble. I would like to try and 
start live streaming over there but the only thing is you have to have 100 view or 100 subscribers right now i lost one i'm down to 12 and stuff so i'm rethinking how to uh how to get more subscribers over there uh i'm very grateful for uh, the subscriber the people that follow me here and watch on the replays and uh gotta acknowledge that this is a good opportunity for me to acknowledge that and uh and the like so uh um i i do appreciate that um let's see what else that's about it i think there's a ball game on right now or getting ready to have uh let's see the new york yankees they are uh, let's see let's see what's major league baseball because the padres we're playing oh 730 it's on at 737 so they're getting ready to start that game and it looks like the end of the six the Padres took the lead over the Phillies okay so uh, the Philadelphia Phillies lead that series one to zero so they might be tying that up the Yankees winning last night uh, against uh, uh, would they play last night I can't think um, Cleveland they, they beat Cleveland as far as that goes the Cleveland Guardians and uh, they had to zip down overnight down to uh, the Houston where they're getting ready to play the, the uh, Astros so I'll be watching probably about uh, several innings of that game before calling it a night and stuff like that because I got to go to the day job tomorrow as far as that goes and uh, um, so I'll be doing the Anchor Morning Audio tomorrow. So uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up in uh, 38 minutes. Wow, we went that long? I think it's because I, I had the CBS article. So um, again, that's over. That's the article that I was referencing is uh, over there on the CBSSports.com channel under the NFL. Uh, the title of the article has a rundown of all the all the uh, picks that this uh, senior CBS the CBS Sports senior writer um, Pete Prescott NFL week 7 picks and that's what we did right right here my picks at fireman rich my picks <laughs> for this week 7 of the NFL National Football League football, American football, here in the UI, United States of America. Okay? And um, so that's about it, folks. You all have a great evening. We'll be talking to you sometime down the line. We'll be back here Friday morning for the uh, Morning Coffee broadcast. This is Rich Roberts, at Fireman Rich, over there on Twitter, as well as right here on Twitch, which I love broadcasting on. You all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life. Have fun. Ciao for now. As always, peace. Take care, folks. <laughs>